Welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year at Hunt Elementary School. My name is Mrs. Miller and I teach upper grade SDC. This year, we will continue distance learning. There will be a few changes and I'm here to tell you about some of those changes. Some of the things that are the same are that we are going to continue to use Google Classroom and we are going to continue to use Google Meet for all of our needs. This year, there will be two live classes in my classroom. We will have a whole group and we will have a small group class. For the whole group class, that will be the entire class. There will be an 8.50 a.m. sign-in and instruction will begin at 9 a.m. For the small group class, there will be three to five students per group and each student will have a specific group time and I will inform the parents of what group time that is for their students. Now, let me tell you a bit about Google Classroom. When you sign into my class, it looks like this. My name is at the top and the school year. And once your student is enrolled, the very first page called the stream page will have announcements and also the meet link in the banner. The next topic uh, that you can click on is the classwork page and it has a few different things that you can learn about. The parent topic, the schoolwork topic, and the class information topic. The topic that your students will be in for most of the time on Google Classroom will be the schoolwork topic and that is where they get all of their daily lessons and work that they complete at home through distance learning. In my schoolwork topic, it will look like this most of the time. On the very top will be the material, or you can think of it as a digital learning packet. In the digital learning packet, which I will talk about next, it will have lessons and instructions for each student on each day. Below the weekly lessons, there's also homework for each day, and I have also labeled that by date and school day to make it more clear for everyone. This is the first page of the digital learning packet. On the first slide, you have the days of the week. You also have each lesson number. And each of those lesson numbers is a clickable link to each of the lessons in the slide. You may also click the day of the week to go directly to that first day's slides. Here's an example of the first day of learning and the lesson slide. If you notice at the very top, there's a speaker button where I read the directions to each student. Down below, there is also a lesson instruction video so that you can be clear on how to complete the lesson and instructions. Any blue link you see on a slide is clickable and will take you directly to the information that you need to know. At the very bottom of each slide is an arrow to go to the next lesson. At the very right hand corner is a home button in case you need to return to the first day of slides. One thing that I want to make sure you know is that attendance is recorded in various ways. Since we are not starting off in the school building, we take attendance for the students attending the live meet classes, as well as students participating in the online digital packet. So please make sure you help your student to get to class each day and also make sure you check in with them once a day to make sure that they're doing their schoolwork. My office hours are between 7.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., but you can call me anytime because my goal is just to help you and your students succeed. This year, we are using the Remind app at Hunt Elementary School, and it works by receiving text message updates, which you can also respond to, and I'll get those messages. You can also download the app if you would like, and it has a very clean interface. I want to say that I just feel honored to take part in your student's learning journey, and that I am here to help. I am here to try to make this uh, process as smooth as possible, so feel free to reach out to me. So please stay safe, and I'll see you the first day of class.